Hi there, I'm back. Uh, some of you had questions and I've got answers. So um, if you haven't seen it already, there's a video prior to this one where I explain how I rested these bulldog clips. So they, they looked like this a couple hours ago. So one of the good questions, which was a really good question, how long did it actually take? And I should have I should have clarified that. For these ones today, it took about an hour beginning to end. So that was quick. Now, I have had some things uh, take 36 hours. I just left it in the solution for 36 hours. Uh, especially if you don't put any saran wrap on the top. Um, your, think about it, your H2O2, that second oxygen molecule is going to want to be evaporating. It's going to get weaker. It's going to get weaker. And uh, so it, I would think you're quite safe in holding off if it's not as rusty as you'd like. Like I said, I, I'm trying to think back on all the things I've rusted <laughs> over these years. And I think the longest I've left it in has been about a day and a half. Maybe even a little bit. Like I might have started it one morning by that night, left it in, left it overnight, and then maybe by the next afternoon thought, okay, time for you to come out. <laughs> um, be prepared. If you've got very fresh peroxide, very fresh vinegar, you can get a lot of foam. So keep that in mind uh, that your container has room for some foam. I don't always get that much foam. That was very fresh peroxide. And the foam, think about it, that's the oxygen molecule trying to escape, that unstable molecule. So the foam, keep that in mind with the size of the container that you're going to use. So uh, the next question was about sealing it. Do I seal them? Yes, I do. Um, I seal them because they look nicer. Uh, so what I usually will do, the, the sealing will change how the rust looks. So I'll show you. Uh, here's one right here. That's just one of the rusty ones I did today. Let me make sure that that's... There we go. Um, and here's one that has been sealed. See the change it makes? And I like it. I like how that looks. So, uh, oh, that's me. I left it laying on something. Normally I will lean it up like this and I didn't. So, um, so yeah, I will, um, I do seal them. I've used several different kinds of seals. They all seem to be fine. Um, right now I only have a, a matte sealant and I kind of like the glossy look. So lately, if I've done a batch, I've actually been sealing them just quickly with a little coating of nail polish, uh, clear nail polish, any brand. This one happens to be this one, but I've also just used clear nail polish from Dollarama or Dollar Tree. So, you know, you do you. Um, I'm, I'm not always OPI extravagant. I just happen to have that handy today. So usually I'll take um, a, a dry bristle brush I, I love dry bristle brushes. I use them for all kinds of different things other than paint. So I usually keep a few handy uh, that just never ever get into paint at all. So I usually will take um, a dry bristle brush. I'll take one of these and I'll give it a good vigorous brush and get off any powder uh, that has been left on there. And just give it a real good brush, open it up, brush inside there. There we go. And then what I do, if I'm going to use nail polish, uh, hold on, let me back up a bit. If I'm going to use a spray sealant, which I've done in the past, I'll brush them all. And then um, I usually will keep them on one side, let it dry, flip them all over, do the other side and let it dry. Now that will still leave your interior um, raw, I'll leave that up to you how you, you know, if you're okay with that or not. I'm okay with it, but some people are, are a little nervous about it. Um, but I, for the most part, I actually find using nail polish and just slowly painting my bulldog clips. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's, it's the same kind of therapy that fussy cutting is for me. I just really 
enjoy just sitting, listening to a podcast, and just uh, painting a little sealant on a little bulldog clip. And I just go over the whole thing, get in there, get in there. Like I said, these are three pieces. I guess if you wanted to, you could take them apart. I've never done that. And I just paint the polish on. I guess it's the old aesthetician in me. Although I never worked as an aesthetician, I did have to train to get my hair license. But it was one of those things. <laughs> I wrote my exam and then I just wanted to do hair. So I just get all that done. And then here's something that I will do. I'm going to show you on one that doesn't have any nail polish. But let me put this upright and let it dry. Ah, there we go. So I just put that, tilt that up like that. Um, what you can do in order to polish inside, and it doesn't take long, because think about it, one coat of nail polish dries very quickly, is I will just use another one and hold it open, and I'll just, I'll paint inside there with the nail polish and get the inside done as well. And then you're good to go. And it just makes such a nice difference. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. It just really, really makes a beautiful difference in how your finished product looks. So see what I mean? A little bit of a little bit of shimmer there, but this one is kind of well, it's rusty looking. So there you go. If there's something else that I have not dressed Please write your questions down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching today. I hope you found this helpful. Um, as I said, the measurements are, are kind of approximate. Don't worry about being too particular about you know how much peroxide, how much vinegar, how much salt. It's you're just going for the chemical reaction and you saw today I just sort of salt in. And it all worked out. There we go. Well, have fun. Um, have fun rusting all your metal stuff. And uh, I'm going to finish painting these and relaxing. And uh, we'll talk soon. Bye.